Okay, so uh, someone asked me to make a tutorial on the MP3, or sorry, the N3P mesh converter. Um, uh, so there's a GitHub repository uh, for the code, and then there is a blog post um, on my blog that goes into it. Um, and I think some people have been having some issues with it. So I had figured I would just make a quick video. I apologize for the background noise um, to just go through it real quick. So maybe the first thing we'll do is just grab the repository um, fresh from here. Let's see. First we'll clone the repository. Okay, so that's copying over. So just give it a second for that to um, to copy over, and while that is copying, take a look. Um, if you haven't already, it'd probably be a good idea to read through this uh, post. Um, this uh, converter does two things. It will, if you have an object um, that you've made that you would like to get into the game, it will convert the object um, from the OBJ format into um, the uh, N3P mesh format using a command here. Um, and here we just specify the import option. If you have something within that online that you want to get out um, to convert it to say a .obj format then we would use the export. So import is to get into the get items into the game, export is to get items out of the game. And uh, the required format here is the um, .n3p mesh um, it's possible to do other formats as well, but this is just the uh, the format that's currently supported. Um, okay, so that is done. And if you're interested in doing uh, other formats, I think starting with the code and getting an understanding of um, what the code has uh, is a really good way of, of getting things, uh, getting used to everything. So here, once you've cloned the repository, you get an example.txt, and that sort of goes through a little bit about um, what the tool is capable of. So uh, first thing you want to do is convert the .dxt um, file to a .p, uh, uh, .bmp or a .png um, using N3 Text Viewer PNG. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, in here, yeah, so I, I, the, the repository comes with some, um, items, uh, in it, it, just to test, to test around with them, so maybe we'll use one of these, maybe we'll use the flame sword, um, and let me see here, so the, the dot, t, uh, txt, let me, Get the so I'm going to open my tools um, so that I can convert this to a PNG. Um, so this is the first step. Um, Okay, here's the um, N3 text viewer PNG. I can drop this, uh, let's see, I can open this DXT. Okay, let's go desktop here, here, items, one hand sword, we're doing flame sword, 
So we have this sword. So this is the um, texture for the sword. So now I'll do um, save as PNG. Uh, we'll save it in here and we'll call it flame sword PNG. So now you can see we have the flame sword PNG and it's in the PNG format, not the DXT format. Um, okay. So DXT is just uh, Nine Online's uh, custom texture format. So we converted it from our custom texture to our flame sword, uh, just a typical PNG texture. And this is what Blender will use um, when it's displaying the um, object. Okay. So then it specifies run the following in the command line. Um, so first thing we want to do is we want to find out where the uh, the executable is and if you go to release um, so you could open this in uh, Visual Studio if you want um, I think the default here that I use for this is Visual Studio 2015 so you can open it using that if, if you're not familiar with C, C++ um, or if you just don't want to do that you can just go into the release folder and the exe has already been built and is already in there. So now what we need to do is we need to get the um, the item. So we're interested in the flame sword. So I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to paste it inside of the release folder. Uh, and what I'll actually do is I'll go in here, um, cut these, and just paste them in there. So we have those files right in the same folder um, as the executable. So now if we come to the command line, we can go into the release folder. Uh, and here you can see the files. Um, and so what we're doing here is we have an object that is in the game format in 3P mesh. And we want to um, convert it to a normal, um, a normal format. So in order to do that, um, so export means to remove it from the game into a normal um, object um, format. And import means to take an object and uh, put it in a format that the game can make sense of. So what we'll do is we'll copy this, um, paste it in here. Filter. We want to export because we want to get the flame sword out. We want the um, we want the format of OBJ. Um, let's see. The name of the N3P mesh is one underscore two zero nine one underscore zero zero underscore zero dot in 3p mesh so that's the mesh and now we just need the image file which is the flame underscore sword dot png and then if we run this um, let's see we run let's see I might need the dot uh, exe here Okay, so I'll just do this here so it knows that I'm in the current directory. And you can see that uh, once you've run it, so you may need to add that um, dot forward slash so that it knows that you're talking about the current directory. It depends on uh, what sort of command line you're, you're running. Um, so here we had to do that. It's uh, loaded the mesh. It identified the mesh name. It found all of the uh, vertices and everything. Um, so it generated the new format and exported it, and it's finished. So now, if we look in here, we can see we have the .obj format. We also have a material, and we have the uh, the image that we've already created. If we look at the material we'll see that that material is referencing the, um, the texture, which is good. 
And then if we look in, if we open this object, um, so here I'm using Blender, and it will it uh, recognizes the um, file format. So what we'll do is we'll go File. We will import um, import a wave uh, wave front uh, dot obj. We'll select the dot obj that we created. Import obj. Okay, and see now here we have the sword. Um, the sword currently doesn't have a texture, and we can fix that. Let's see, is this Let's see, the texture we should be able to add material zero. So this is the material. Okay, it recognizes the file here. So if we drag this onto here, and there we go. Now we have um, let me just try to deselect this. Yeah, there we go. So now the flame sword, we have it. It's been exported from the game. And uh, now I have it in Blender. So um, that's that part. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and then you can go the other way. If you have something that you want to get in the game, um, it's very sort of similar if we go back to this here um, we just use the import and here for the import um, you would just uh, so getting objects into the game is a little more complicated because of all of the custom formats that Night Online uses um, but the first step to the whole process is converting the dot obj the wavefront to a um, here I have the ability to either convert it to an N3P mesh or an N3C skin so meshes would be used the P meshes would be used for uh, things like swords and things like that whereas the C3 or the N3C skin would be used for armor so here you can um, you know input uh, custom armors or custom uh, swords and things like that. So once you have um, that, uh, and you can just uh, you can run that and get it back. So we can just do that real quick. Um, so now that we have the uh, the OBJ for the flame sword, let's convert it back to an N3P mesh, and uh, can just see that. Um, in the uh, here uh, by just change this to is it just copy this real quick get rid of this so that's just the example um, I'll replace it with the flame sword run this. Uh, and now you can see that it, it read in the OBJ file, so this would be whatever custom uh, object that you've made in Blender or whatever, um, and it converts it to an N3P mesh. Um, and so now if you come back here, this, uh, this N3P mesh will be the mesh generated by, actually no, it's this one. Um, this is the, so it adds underscore mod just to know, so this was the original one that was part of the game, that was for the actual flame sword. We converted that into an OBJ file, and then just for uh, demonstrating how this works, we actually converted that back to an N3P mesh, and that's this one with the underscore mod on it. Um, to get them actually in the game, you need something like a C, uh, N3C plug. And if you look at this, um, this file actually references the N3P mesh, and it also references the particular texture. So what you would do is, if you wanted to get this in the game, 
you would convert it to the N3P mesh uh, and you would create the DXT texture from whatever textures you use in Blender. Um, and then you would change these strings. The only thing you need to know about this is that um, these, uh, these bytes in front of the actual string itself is the length of the string. So if you're going to change the name of the file or uh, either file, the N3P mesh or the DXT, if you're going to change that actual name, you need to change the length here so that it knows that it's reading in the right amount um, of characters in the string. Um, right. Because um, if I, and you can see that if I copy this, this is saying that if you look down here, if you can see my cursor, it's showing down here that this is length 1.8, length 18, um, which is this right here, is 18, right? So if you're going to update the length of this string, you're going to need to update this so it knows how many bytes to read in. Um, and same with the texture part as well, right? So this is 1C, so this is in hex. Um, if I select all of this DXT, you'll see that it's length 1C, and that's what this 1C corresponds to, okay? Um, and then uh, you can look up what the rest of these bytes uh, indicate for the N3C plug. Um, you can do that by going to the, um, the Night Online um, GitHub, um, which... Uh, is this one right here. So this one is open source. Um, a lot of the file formats are already in here. Um, so you can just search for those uh, and you'll get a better understanding of what the, the formats are there. Okay, so hopefully that helps a little bit on how to um, get items in and out of the game. Uh, and if you're not sure, just uh, feel free to send me an email at info uh, info at stephenmeyer.net. Cool. Thanks.